Okay, so I'm dispatched to an assault patient. I arrive on the scene and I have my BSI on. Is the scene safe? Scene safe. Is this the only patient? That's your only patient. Okay, and the mechanism was a gunshot, I understand? Yes. Okay, and so I have plenty of help coming as well. Uh, ALS and, and additional help. Yes. And then, so my general impression is a uh, patient with a gunshot, where? On his chest. Okay, uh, so probably a critical patient. I'm going to approach him, stabilize C-spine, speak to him, look at his airway. Does he have um, any blood or vomit in his airway? No, he does not. Is he responding to me at all when I talk to him? He's responding to you. No, not responding to you. He's not responding to me. Okay, if I put pain to a nail bed, is he responding? He responds to pain. Okay, and so then is he breathing? Yes. How fast? Uh, rate of 30. Okay, is it shallow? Yes. Okay, so we're going to need to... Uh, deal with oxygen and ventilation with an oral or a nasal airway and C-spine stabilization, so I've got a partner doing that. I'm going to deal with this chest wound. Um, where is it? It's superior to the nipple and the midclavicular line on the right side. So like right here where this patch is? Right there. Okay, so, and it's an open wound? It's open. So I'm going to cover it with my hand, and we're going to seal that up with my hand, um, and we're going to get a, a real seal for that, an occlusive dressing, three-sided, taped down, uh, we're not going to trust that as a one-way valve. We're going to keep watching it, but I've got to finish my assessment. Does he have a radial pulse? Yes, he does. He does. Okay, how fast is it? Uh, rate of 130. Okay, what's his skin color, temperature, and moisture? Uh, skin is cool, pale, and moist. Okay, so uh, I'm going to have someone take over that for me. So I've got a critical patient who has a gunshot to the chest um, and shows signs of shock with uh, rapid breathing. We're ventilating for him and cool, pale, clammy skin, and a rapid heart rate. So we're in rapid, uh, rapid trauma assessment mode. We're going to bring in a backboard and a cart and get ready to transport him. Uh, and while we're doing that, I want to do a rapid trauma assessment on him. Do I see anything major on his head? Any big bleeds or anything? That's Quick scan? Unremarkable. What about his neck? Does he have tracheal deviation? Uh, tracheal deviation. Trach is midline. Trach is midline. What about JVD? JVD, uh, he doesn't, it's present. He so he has JVD, but no tracheal deviation. Okay, so quickly on the chest, again, uh, we're dealing with that. I'm going to look. Do I see anything else on his chest? No, no other things. And when I feel, nothing else no. strange? All right, I'm going to listen to lung sounds. Does he have lung sounds on the, on the good side, on the uh, left side? Yes. What about on the right side? Right side is diminished. Okay, B diminished but present. Present. Okay, what about belly? Is it soft or hard? Uh, belly is rigid and tender. He groans whenever you press on it. Okay, so I'm not sure what that's about. We're going to note that and, and move on. What about pelvis? To iliac crest pressure? Uh, Barrel hoop? Unremarkable. Right femur? Unremarkable. Left femur? Unremarkable. Okay, so that's the end of my rapid trauma exam. All that I found is a rigid belly and this gunshot wound. I do still want to see his back pretty soon. So now we're ready to log roll him, put him up on his back. Are there any other wounds back there? Not, not that you see. So there's no gunshot on the back? No. no okay, what about, um, I'm pushing on his spine. Is anything on his spine? What about anything on his buttocks or genitalia? Any bleeding down there? No. Okay, and we're going to put him back down on the board. And again, I'm scanning. There's, there's no other big bleeds here, right? No. The only thing I'm finding is belly and this chest wound that we're, we're dealing with. That is correct. All right, so he's on a backboard. He's strapped down. We're going to put him on the car, put him in the ambulance, and we're going to start going immediately. I'm going to do everything else on the way because he's critical. Um, <clears throat> and so I want to reassess quickly. Anything in his airway? Airway is clear. We have a nasal in and we're bagging him. Okay, then I want to check uh, JVD again. Still there, I assume. Still there. What about trach? Midline or not? Midline. Okay. Lung sound still the same? Still the same. Okay, good. Nothing else to do there. All right, so I've reassessed things that are going on. Now I need a, a real set of vials. You need an actual blood pressure. Okay. Blood pressure is 100 over 50. 100 over 50. Heart rate? 130. 130. And he has radial pulses still. Okay, what about um, respiratory rate? 30. 30, but we're ventilating him and assisting him, so we're taking care of that. What about pulse ox? 71%. 71. Okay. And then I'm going to treat him for hypothermia anyway, but if I can measure his temperature real quick, what would I get? 96.1. All right. So, again, we're treating for shock, so we've got him warm, or we're covering him up, uh, giving him oxygen, rapidly transporting him, keeping him flat. Uh, we're going to keep managing... Uh, keep watching this wound in case it turns into a tension, so we're going to keep assessing that. So now I've got time, I assume, during the transport, because uh, we still have transport time, um, to do sample history and a detailed exam. Now the sample, 
not much I can get from him. Is, is there anything in his wallet or any medical alert? Is there any sample history information I can get? No, he has nothing on him. Okay, so I'm going to move on to a detailed exam. I'm going to look very carefully around his head. I'm going to look for pupils. Yeah. Are they yeah. equal? Yeah. Okay, and they react? Yeah. And then anything in his ear, any blood or fluid from his ear? Okay, anything remarkable on his head at all? Scalp wounds, anything? Nothing. All right, what about his neck? Uh, trachea first, still midline? Still midline. Okay, JVD still, I assume. Yeah. No wounds up there or anything? Nope. Okay, and then on his chest, um, let's check lung sounds again first thing. Okay, still the same. Still the same, nothing's changed there. Okay, and we looked pretty good before, but I'm, I'm really inspecting carefully now. Is there any chance there's anything else on his chest? It's armpits, anywhere I'm not catching. All right, belly's hard, no reason to mess with that. Pelvis again, iliac crest, barrel hoop. Unremarkable. Right femur. Unremarkable. Right um, tib fib, ankle and foot, anything? Unremarkable. Okay, I'm going to take shoe and sock off, do the same thing on that side. Left femur. Unremarkable. Tib fib and ankle. Unremarkable. Okay, has he got peripheral pulses in his feet? He does not have pulses. He does not. Does he have them in his arms? Okay, I'm going to check this arm for injury. Is there any injury in this arm? No. Any injury in this arm? Okay, so I've checked everything, and all that I've found is rigid belly and this gunshot. He's uh, responsive only to pain. We're ventilating him, and he's not fighting that very much, and he has clear signs of shock. So we're going to keep reassessing airway, keep an eye on this chest wound. If he decompensates in any way, I'm going to release that and hope that it releases the tension pneumo that built up. Otherwise, we're just going to keep transporting um, and keep re reassessing this on the way. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to do? No, thanks.